Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Shadowrun Hong Kong Extended Edition. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it shows to join me today, because we are in the middle of a very tough battle. It's a very tough battle. We're fighting Mercs and we're fighting Fuchi, and uh, things are just terrible. We're trying to rescue Lily Lai over here. She's hiding at the moment. It really says over there that she's hiding. I see her, but they apparently they don't, and they don't know where she is. So, let's see. Let's start off with the bad things over here. We got up to... I think it's the fifth time I'm using this summon, but if he goes crazy right there, that should be okay. Uh, there, it's gonna come for us, but that should be okay. Let's see what happens. He goes crazy. Okay, well, he went crazy. Let's focus on the... if we can, let's focus on the mercs, because those... yeah, reload that weapon. Because uh, those are... they have five, and, now, and the Fuchi only have four. So let's try and balance it out a little bit. I shouldn't have gone for the double tap there, but... ah, well. Let's see. Yeah, no, no crit there. Okay, now he's, he's gonna die, probably unless he heals himself. Let's see, can I shoot somebody from over here? Well, we got the captain. The captain is pretty tough. And I also have the grenade launcher. And I can't... Oh, this is good. This is good. This is got That fire is gonna rain on these guys. I can shoot from back here. That's so crazy. Oh, he's... <laughs> he's missed as well. Okay, I should have seen that he was a grenadier. So... Huh. Let's see. That's what you get. And I killed the summon as well. That's perfect. That was pretty awesome. So let's see. Uh, so we got Gaichu over there. Let's see what he can do here. Well, he could go for that one. He could get a hell out of dodge as well. There's gonna be... Yeah, let's try and take care of this Grenadier. Uh, that's... What was that? I didn't even see. The 7 damage. Okay, so he's not gonna be able to attack again. Uh, can't attack the Grenadier from here. Can't attack anybody, really. Let's go for the captain, hope for a couple of hits that are probably not going to happen. And of course, let's see what he does. Oh, he's going for us? No. He's attacking her, that's bad. She needs to take cover. She needs to take cover. And so do we. Well, they're behind cover, but... Yeah, it's going to die. Gaichu is going to see to that. Oh, girl, you need to get yourself into, into a safe position. You are not in a good... I don't want her to die, come on! Oh, we're gonna need to move in. We're gonna need to move in to save her ass. Yep. Okay. So let's do this thing. Isabel, what can you do? You need healings. Yes, you do. What can you do? You need healings as well. Go ahead and do that. Um, nah. She's gonna die. It's a shame. It's a shame. A shame. Not with a CH. With a SH. Uh, but she's gonna need to die. I have an Emperor here. I should be able to kill this, uh, this guy. And I am. And uh, let's go guess this one. Critical. Another critical. No, it's not going to attack again. Oh, kind of a shame. Oh, I can attack this guy twice. Perfect. Miss. And a crit. Not the worst thing in the world. Is she going to really die? I really hope she doesn't. Really hope she doesn't. But, well, if she does, she does. And now you, what can you do? Yeah. Yes, keep shooting him. You hit him once. You need to reload, yeah. Keep shooting him. Oh, almost killed him. Oh, he's healing himself. And she's gonna die. Ah, well. Yeah, we're gonna need to fight. If we keep killing these guys, the problem is... I don't really know. That was nice. Oh, she's not gonna go away. She's not gonna heal herself. She's gonna get killed. Unless she's very lucky. I don't even know what these guys are doing up here. I don't even know who's on which side anymore. There's three enemies on each side, I think, maybe. Okay, so we got this. We got the captain here. Nope, couple of misses. And a crit, and he dies. Okay, so not the worst thing in the world. I really hope she doesn't die. Let's see if she has any heals, because I think she has a spell that heals. She does, heal wound. Can you cast that on her? Perfect. Okay, so a little bit, a little bit, but of course she's not gonna be able to heal, heal, be healed a little any, anymore because she doesn't have the uh, that that spell only heals the last wound, so that's why. Okay, so this guy's dead, and I well he's pretty good. Yeah, let's try and attract their attention, although she's kind of exposed very very much. So uh, let's move forward as well with her if I bring her over there because she can still survive. Uh, let's see. So we got Mercs. 
We got a drone there. We got a green deer there. So that's those two Fuchis over there against... No, that's that single Fuchi over there against the Mercs. So what can I do? Could go for that one. Not gonna work. Let's focus on the Rieger here. And miss. Can you heal yourself? You can. That's good. So bring your ass up front. Let's see. Yeah, be up. Be up. Yeah, be over there. It should be fine. Hopefully. Okay, it's a nice little bit of damage. That guy's gonna die for sure. Oh, what are you doing, girl? One more scars in your face. And down he goes. And there we go. We are against... Yeah. She's gonna die. She's definitely gonna die. No, she didn't die right now. Okay, so first things first. Let's see what I can do uh, with my rocket launcher. Oh, not the rocket launcher, but might as well be with my grenade launcher. Let's see what I can do. Please don't kill your friends. Damn it, I forgot about that. Damn it all. Well, dump damn that guy. Ugh. Let's see what I can do there. There we go. A little bit of damage at least. Hmm. Oh, that angers me. That angers me. Uh, let's move over there. I got a shot there. I might be able to kill him, but probably not. Yeah. Yeah, double miss. Seriously, though. Send him up. Send him up. Is he dead? He is dead. She's gonna die. She's just... She doesn't want to survive. She's not okay with life. And down she goes. She might be a... Vi no, she's not. She's, she's gone. Yeah, I was gonna say that she might be a vital... There's Sometimes there's... There's uh, NPCs that don't die. Yeah. That happened in uh, the first campaign, but not this time, unfortunately. So as soon as we can kill the Grenadier, do two misses on 84%. My luck, just my luck. Let's see what Gobe can do about that guy. Well, if you could go with this thing here, that wouldn't be such a terrible thing. Yeah, the drone takes a little bit of damage and down goes that one. Okay, so we are good on that front. Do you have a grenade, by the way? You have grenades. You have that, but you need two action points to throw it. Do you have grenades, guy? You don't. So let's see what Gobed does. She has the mine, but the mine's not gonna do much. So she has to reload this. Yes, yes, and throw it at their face. The Rieger's face. Nine damage. And a crit there for nine damage as well. I don't really care about the drone. I care a little bit more about the Rieger. So we only need to kill him. That's all we need to do here. So, Gaichu, what can you do? He's flanked, but you're not going to be able to attack that much. Oh, minus one action point. Maybe there we go. She almost survived as well. She almost survived. Shame. But, oh well. Lily is over here. Let's have a chat with the girl and see if she's okay. She should be. As the echo of the gunfire dies and the smell of cordite clears, Lily waves a hand in front of her face, coughing roughly. The street is eerily quiet, probably owning to the fact that there are no longer any civilians anywhere to be seen. Li Lily lets her gaze pan over the street, expression shell-shocked. After a moment of silence, she, cuff she coughs and grimaces. What's that line? A box on both your houses? At least now I can die on my own terms. Yeah, you can't trust any Magus. You're better off alone. Sounds about right to me. I don't know who I can trust anymore, aside from people loyal to their paycheck. Maybe it's time to hit up the mainland, see if there's any clinics in Shanghai that can keep me alive. I can recommend a few who are very good at handling unusual cases. And if you are meant to die, that is only the natural order of things. The wail of sirens slowly grows in the distance as the HKPF fast response units grow ever closer. Lily wraps her arms around the chest and shivers. You'd better get out of here. Call your pilot and have him evac to you. I don't think we'll be able to protect you once the HKPF shows up. And thanks. I'll make sure your money gets to you. Uh, yeah, I don't envy your situation for what, it's, for what it's worth. Yeah, well, I think it's something I'm just going to have to live with. Or not, as the case may be. As the case may be. That was nasty. <laughs> that was really nasty. Phew. At least we got out of the battle. I was really thinking that we might lose somebody there. But nope. Nope, we didn't. Let's leave. Let's go back. Debrief time? I don't know. John was probably going to say something on the way back home or something. 
Oh, my throat hurts. My throat hurts. And I don't have anything to drink right now. The night in front of you stretches out like a black velvet cloth littered with glittering gems. The lights of the free enterprise zone behind you. Precious little save a, bl save a bloodbath. If Fuchi or Yametetsu saw fit to send any aircraft after you, Jomo has managed to lose them. As the aircraft descends towards the impound lot, you think back to Lily and her predicament. With luck, maybe she'll find a doctor to cure her condition. Yamatetsu and Fuchi were probably better options for survival, but is it really survival if you're forced to leave as a slave? If she dies, at least she'll do so on her own terms. Yeah. And my throat doesn't hurt anymore, thanks to the magic of the internet. And editing as well. <laughs> Just took a sip of water. Um, so we're good, we're good. Mission complete, I guess. Is this gonna be the second to last mission? Oh, huh, kind of curious as to what's gonna happen. And we gain six, ten karma. I thought it was gonna see six, uh, gonna be sixteen, but ten karma is good. Let's see what we can spend it on. Well, I think I would go with um, quickness. I would go with this. Oh, maybe this. Uh, it increases a critical hit, so I probably this one. What does it do? The main component is to calculate the range, the chance to hit with ranged weapons. Let's go with that. I'm actually, sense to wind is not that. I um, my I, mine is good already, so let's just spend that over there, and have a chat here with Jomo. See what he has to say. Jomo is hunched over to the side of his boat, examining some deep scratches in an otherwise pristine hull. He curses under the, under his breath, turning to you to face you. You know, with all this work we're doing, I think my boat will need a new paint job when we're done. She's owed a makeover after all her hard work. So, what can Captain Jomo do for you today? Uh. Show me what you're selling. Do you have programs? Yeah, they do. He does, so I could... Yeah, I could pro... Oh, yeah, ESPs, that's the one. Could go with these, but I never I never really use these, but yeah, anyway. It's all good. Uh, let's see what your weapon, weapons are. Are they are they new weapons? You got some pretty nice stuff around here. The damage is very low, though. The Emperor is like 10. Hmm. Huh. Okay. Uh, oh. Oh, yeah. Okay, so he only sells melee weapons and other stuff. So, we'll see you later, Jomo. Didn't even say anything about the job. Yeah, probably doesn't know. I probably am gonna see it all over at the uh, computer. Let's have a chatty with Sergeant Leung. The sergeant tosses her cigarette onto the ground and crushes it under her shoe. With a quick kick, she flings the dead sick backwards, backward into the churning waters behind her. Yeah, that's why it's always that very dirty. Her head dips as she lifts a fresh stick. She inhales and gives you a nod. Nice day for a stroll. She smoke streams out of her nose and her mouth. <clears throat> yeah, we runners clearly don't get out enough. Sorry, I didn't mean to insult you. I'm just nah, not good at small talk. So let's get out into business. Yeah, I have to go. Nah, back to it then. Yeah, okay. Nice chatting with you, I suppose. Uh, so maybe this guy's gonna have something for me? Well, I need. Well, all I need is I need medical equipment. So uh, let's see. So walk away. He doesn't say anything. It's fine. So go in there, medical trailer, buy ourselves some uh, medical equipment, and uh, get out of here. Let's go to the next mission as well. So, automated procedures. So, it, yeah, I can't heal myself. I don't know why that is there. If I can't heal my, if I can't heal myself. But anyway, we got a platinum one. Let's buy one of those. Let's buy a few of these just in case. Let's buy buy a few of these as well. And we're good to go. Who's clapping right now? Do you hear clapping right now? Yeah, I heard that. Um, put it over there. Put it no. Put it over there. Put it down here. Of course, that means the game is a little bit weird like this. I don't know why. Don't know why the game does this, but it does. What are you seeing right now? It does that. See? I, I, anyway, confirm. Let's get out of here and exit. Yes. There we go. Back to now. Oh, actually, that's this guy. Who? Who go? Hugh. I don't remember his name already. Hula, I think it was. Where are you? Where are you, man? Hui. Hui, yeah. You can feel Hui's hard gaze at the, uh, at the moment he spots you. He drops back down to his PDA, a series of quick taps on the device, and he turns off the screen, splitting it into a back pocket. He, he nods at you. Back for more, runner? I mean, still, about time I got that right. What brings you to my corner? Nothing, apparently. You guys don't really say much. Nice talking to you, though. Let's go to the um, Defiance. I also need to think back of the name of this ship. But yeah, the Defiance. Have a, chat, have a chat with the guys. Look at the computer. Just do the same old stuff that you usually do. And get ready for another mission. Your workstation and mission computer. The cold blue. I know all that. So let's check the inbox. 
No. Oh. Why don't I have any <clears throat> jobs directory? Oh, claim payment. There we go. A few moments later, the message pops onto the screen. I've attached your fee. Thanks again for what you did. I know things didn't go quite as planned. I'm impressed you stuck it out. I don't really know where I'm going next. Maybe I'll try somewhere in Europe or the UCAS or get a fresh pair of eyes on my condition. Still, anything's better than being kept a prisoner in, our, in your own house. Yeah. Okay, so let's go to the BBS. See if we can post pay, da pay data for sale. We cannot. And that is that. Let's walk away. So let's have a chat now. Well, let's go downstairs first. Let's talk to um, Rector here. It's not going to say anything. Rector's machine shop is oddly silent. The great fabricator arms that hang from the ceiling stand motionless. Koshe scuttles towards you, acknowledging your presence with the tap of his foreleg. Rector nods and beckons you forward. Well, my friend, I would s it would seem that we've come to the end of the road. We know where we need to go, to the ridiculously named Tiger's Den, to find the evidence that our senior inspectors need so badly. There are no other jobs to distract us. We may as well gear up for the task and get it over with. Yeah, that's the plan. We're heading to the Tiger's Den next. Very good. I'll pack my things. Is there anything you'd like to discuss before you go? If so, speak your mind. I'm always happy to talk. What do you think of our last run? I wasn't there. <laughs> yeah. I never know if they're gonna say anything different, but I always need to try. Probably shouldn't, though. Ah, they don't really mind. Uh, so, Kaichu. Oh, it's very dark in here. No, it's always very dark in here. It likes the darkness. Gaichu is hunched over, holding something long and thin in one hand, and a short knife in the opposite one. He shifts in place, and after a moment, you see he is carving a stick. He's carved several holes in it, and is busily trying to form it into an appropriate, uh, an approximation of a flute. He appears to be struggling with a task, though. Struggling with a task was the word that was written there. I suppose it would be struggling. Let me set. Let me see here. Maybe that will do. Be, will be better. He lifts the flute to his lips and blows. This produces a drunken warble that might be uttered by a drink a dying bird if the bird were underwater. Gaichu narrow, narrows his milky white eyes and off and the offending object before and at the offending object before throwing it into a corner of the room. I know my limitations. Carving a flute is apparently beyond me, unless my goal is to frighten children. Now then, what may I do for you? What do you think of our last run? The goal spreads his hands with a satisfied look. That was the sort of mission that I live for. To be honest, I... A high-risk insertion into a secure facility, a complicated extraction that doesn't go according to plan, and a final showdown with more... With some of the better soldiers megacorporations have to offer. I... It gives me a feeling like eating a fine meal used to... That same sense of satisfaction that suffuses su su oneself. It's the kind of legendary run that I expect Shadows will be talking about for years to come. Yeah, I don't care what people say as long as I'm well paid. Ah yes, money. The eternal motivator. I too enjoy being paid, but there is something pleasing to me about my name. Even if it is only my street name, be becoming a street legend. I like the idea of our deeds mattering enough for, for others to repeat them. You realize, of course, that Lai will die, yes? Without the resources of either Fuchi or Yamatetsu, her condition will almost certainly kill her and soon. But there is a certain certain nobility in dying on your own terms and refusing to be pawn to the others. To others, yeah. Seppoku and all that, I suppose. That's not what she's doing, but yeah. It's not about honor, it's about freedom. It's, yeah, in her case, anyway. He shrugs, mouth drawn into a tight line. I wish the best for her. Who knows, perhaps she will live. And our paths will cross in the shadows someday in the future. Was there anything else you needed? Yeah, what do you like? Oh, yeah, that's all. That's all. Thank you. Yeah. Hopefully she will live. I really hope so, but I... Yeah. I didn't have high hopes either way. Probably not gonna... Leave. She was probably not gonna leave with the corporations either, so... I don't know. Gaichu didn't come with us to the run, so... He's not gonna say anything, but maybe he has some more ferocity to throw at us. Uh, yeah, yeah. Gotta go. Gotta go. <laughs> you mean the one when I was stuck here? You weren't stuck here. I mean, yeah, he probably was stuck here. It wasn't working out, though. Hey, Isabel, you always come with me, so you are gonna have something to say about that one. Stale, stale metallic air fills the room. The round window that's usually cracked. Oh, it's the same thing. Oh, for an, oh, it's the same one. Oh, she's saying the same thing. Oh, okay. So, you, you okay there, Isabel? A one not a drive? Yeah, okay. So, it's with a hairband. Damn bird. Yeah, come again. Let's go ahead and just... It's a different... A little bit of a different line. But I'm gonna say the same thing again at the end. So... Oh! This is a different one, isn't it? 
You seem like you keep yourself pretty busy. Do you ever get bored? Only when I talk to you. Uh... Is she kidding right now? I don't know if she's kidding. I don't think she would be kidding right now. She's just being rude. <laughs> I, I, but that is rude. Po saying that is rude as well. So I'm not going to try to be... I, I At least I think that is pretty rude. I don't do that. I don't say that to people that are being rude to me. I prefer to just take it in the nose and, and not be rude back. So yeah, I'm serious, Isabel. So am I. I know you were. Come on. <laughs> oh, but only when I'm in a bad mood. Her smile drops and she's all business again. To answer your question, no. And I find it a wonder that anyone can manage to find themselves bored in this city. Ever. It takes a special kind of creativeness to become bored here. The only circumstances I found tiresome are when someone dull is talking. Or if I'm stuck in a job with the wrong people. Green runners. The wait in a haystack for five hours before we strike out of idiots who always die in a couple of runs in the game. Five horrible itchy hours of lying in the haystack. I don't want to think about it anymore. You need anything else? Yeah, what do you thought about the last run? I admit, when we first found Lily, I thought we'd been handed a high-paying babysitting job. She proved to be more capable, if also more snarky than I expected, and then some. That really became obvious when she eventually refused to side with either Fuji and Yamatatsu. She decided to put the power in her own hands, and I respect that. Would be a shame if someone that, with that kind of investment in life died. Maybe she won't. Maybe. Yeah, that's all for now. See you later. Go back to your whatever you're doing. I respect that very much. Alone time is very important, especially if you like alone time. I understand a lot of people, don't, well, I guess extroverts wouldn't like alone time too much. Introverts, well, I am one, uh, for sure. Uh, introverts like that and need that as well. Well, I guess that's it, isn't it? I mean, we've done everything else that people around here had for us. The kidnapping run, the job in the undersea lab. Nothing left to do but hit that police station and get the evidence that the task force needs to take crate down. Yeah, we haven't exactly been dragging our feet, God, but... Oh, actually, let's go with that. Yeah, it looks that way. Good, because I want to see that woman suffer. She had her people put a bullet through Nightjar's head. And gut shots, I guess, but nobody cares about him. <laughs> Nightjar, though, has been waiting too long for justice already. Now that we've uh, exhausted our other options, maybe we can go on and get it for him. Yeah. That's the plan, Gobbit. She nods slowly. I'm gonna hold you to that. Now tell me why you're here. I'd like to know what you thought about the last run. That Lily Lai was a pre precocious little scamp, wasn't she? All piss... Precocious? What? Mm. All piss and vinegar, that one. I mean, she was older than both of us put together, and that bratty kid thing was just an act, but she had me going for a while there. <laughs> Killing everybody and leaving Lily to figure things out for herself was a novel solution, I'll give you that. But who knows? Maybe she'll do better on her own. In her shoes, that's what... That's what I'd have wanted, I'll tell you that much. And we got paid, a lot. So it was a happy ending for everyone, except for all the people that we killed. <laughs> anyway, let's talk about something else. Got any other questions for me? If so, go ahead. I'm all ears. Yeah, gotta run. Gotta run, go bet. Yeah, there we go. I, I kind of wish that I did this on our previous playthrough that I talked with everyone in between missions. Because there's a lot of stuff going on in there. A lot of stuff. So let's go. Let's go for our last mission and uh, read our thing. Let's read the old mes message. Tiger's Den Infiltration Recap. Attached to this email, you will find a brief recap of our conversation regarding the Tiger's Den. Please save this for your records and review as necessary. Seal and team runners to be conveyed to the Tiger's Den by Jomo. Upon entering facility, runners are to secure access to the second floor and, in ev and its evidence room. Once said access has been attained, runners will proceed to evidence room and gather evidence of criminal activity on crate. When evidence has been gathered, runners will evacuate to their insertion point for extraction by Jomo. Use, a lethal, use of lethal force authorized but strongly discouraged before evidence has been gathered. Principals Q and Lam will observe operations from off-site but should not be contacted except in cause of dire emergency. I can already see that happening. So, is that all? Didn't I read more of that before? I thought I had more of that. Apparently not. Mm, okay, well, let's walk away. Let's get ourselves into the last mission, shall we? We're going straight at Jomo. Should I talk with Liu and Kim, Q or whatever their names was? I don't know. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Let's go to Jomo and let's embark, uh, literally, in our last mission of Shadow in Hong Kong. Back so soon. Tell me then. What can Jomo do for you? We may as well get this over with. Take me to Tiger's Den. 
Okay, so who am I gonna bring? Well, I'm gonna bring Isabel. I'm gonna bring Duncan. And I'm gonna bring Gobat. As good as Rector is with this Koshe dude, that's not gonna ha work for right now. We need the old team. We need the starting team for the game. Yeah, let's go. They're probably gonna join us, though, in there. I hope. I mean, they did it for the last mission in the main campaign. I wouldn't... I mean, maybe they're... I don't know. We'll see. The Tiger's Den. The Drunken Mistake flies... Drunken Mistake is... Yeah, it's the boat. <laughs> this boat. The Drunken Mistake flies across Calhoun Bay through grey weather and grey waters. Around you, grim faces watch the skyline ahead as Jomo steers you towards Crate's headquarters. The Tiger's Den. Q and Lam are quiet, but you can sense their anxiety. The inspectors threw a... The, the inspectors, through a sympathetic agent, have arranged to retrieve the badges you need to bypass building security. They have assured you that if everything goes to plan, the risk is minimal. You know from experience that plans often go astray, but you can also know that the reward for this run outweighs the risks. The incriminating data from Dan's evidence from the Dan's evidence room would be more than enough to bury Crate six foot under her sandals. Death dethroned. She crook the crooked cop wouldn't hold a flicker of power. You drop her radar faster than her career. If you pull this off, it'll mean an end to Crate's backwards politics. You've only got one shot. Time to make it count. Okay. So our setup is gonna be as usual, most likely. Let's see, do I have my nice pistols? Yes, I do. So that's for me. I'm gonna bring advanced med kits. Uh we're gonna bring these, and I'm gonna bring one of these and one of these, and uh, let's see a designer. That's I don't want that. Actually, that could kind of come in handy. Let's bring that one. So that's it for Sil. As for Isabel, she's gonna take this one. I really don't know if this pistol is better. I don't think it is, but there we go. Let's see. She has her own healing, so I'm gonna keep her with that. Yeah, Sil has two med kits, and so do I. I'm gonna bring this one and uh, a couple of these. We should be fine. We should be okay. She's probably not gonna die, hopefully, too much. Let's bring one of these and a platinum. Uh, did I bring a platinum for... Oh, golden, okay, so we're good. Oh, too many. Too many. Okay, so he needs a grenade. Let's use that. And he needs a sword. And... Uh, that is such a, an amazing weapon, this thing. Can he use it? He cannot. It requires eight ranged combat. Come on, you can use that. You don't have eight ranged combat. Don't tell me you don't have eight ranged combat. How the hell does he not have that? Well, I guess she has. This, does she, she does not. Do I? I mean, I can use that. Yeah. I'm gonna use that instead of... Yeah, I'm gonna use this as it is. So we're gonna bring the room sweeper. I'm not gonna use the shotgun. I'm gonna use it on somebody else, because I think... Yeah, it's gonna be him. Uh, so the sound blaster right there. Okay, there we go. It's all good. And last but not least, Gobat. My favorite NPC by far. So let's give her this one. Let's give her this one. I should probably bring that one. It's gonna be last mission, so... I think it is going to be the last mission. I would. Oh, I have so many of these. Why am I not bringing these instead? Well, I'll tell you why. Because I'm an idiot. That's why. Uh, so, give it over there. Over there. And over here. There as well. And over here. Over there. And over there. Oh, they don't work. Yeah, my bad. Should have noticed. Should have no. There's no point leaving anything behind. We can just drop whatever when we need. But for right now, I think we're good. I don't think we have any spells for go back here. Ah, we do. Of course we do. We have this, and we have the other one. Please don't. Please don't do that game. Let's get into this. Actually, I think I'm gonna cut the episode here. It's gonna take a little bit of a while, but it's just gonna appear. Okay, so for now, I'm Colonel RPG. As usual, as always, I'm always Colonel RPG. I don't change identities. But yeah, this is what we're gonna start on the next time. For now, I'm Colonel RPG, as I said. And this has been, of course, Shadowrun Hong Kong Extended Edition. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video. But above all, thank you so much, so much for watching. Thank you so much for sticking with me through this series. 16, uh, wow, 16, no, 12 episodes I think we're in. Um, and I hope I'll see you next episode.
Bye-bye.